Welcome to the city that never sleeps, Detroit, Michigan, for baseball action here on Sticky Bleachers. My name is Corey. I am Bobby, happy to be in the home of KISS. So Yes, the rock city itself, Detroit, where the <laughs> Texas Rangers in town tonight, and already the visiting Rangers getting up to second with a single. Who was that leading off, Bob? I even missed him going so fast. That looked like it was... Uh... Actually, I didn't actually see who was uh, leading off there. So it might have been uh, Rognet Ordor as well. But uh, Nomar Mazara up here, though, with a little squib shot, just a shortstop, and they do get the out there at third. So and Sinshu Chu did line out there, so it's a quick uh, quick two outs there. And we have Mike Napoli with a high fly ball to deep center, and that could go out so quickly, Corey. We have ourselves a uh, an onslaught here. And I think that one went into Lake Erie, Bob. That one is might still be in the air. Here is Rufnet Odor, the previously mentioned. Yep. Uh, faux leadoff batter there. So. <laughs> in the five spot here tonight. We might have had Elvis Andrews lead off there. So uh, I have to go been. back and could've look. Been. But he, here's a recently reinstated Adrian Beltre from the disabled list. Longtime veteran uh, shortstop. And uh, veteran Justin Verlander taking the hill for the Tigers tonight. Another longtime Tiger, Bob. Absolutely. And uh, going back to our journeyman conversation, uh, I think Adrian Beltre might fall into that uh, journeyman uh, category. Oh, that was a little blooper, Bob. That ball had no business getting down, but it is going to do some damage. It is a two-out, two-run blooper single into the well there in right. And uh, we are 0 for 2 on our leadoff batters as Elvis Andrews steps up. So we will get back to who led off. But Jonathan Lucroy with that little uh, base hit down the right field line in the previous at bat. But uh, Elvis Andrews down in the count 1 and 2. Puts the ball in play though and lines it to the left field and misplayed by the left fielder. J.D. Martinez, and that's going to score a couple of runs. So, Corey, man, the, uh, the Texas Rangers laying it on thick against the Tigers here. It's a here. five spot, and that's going to bring up their pitcher, Bob Hamill's uh, National League rules in effect tonight here in Detroit. Yeah, Sunday Night Baseball decided that, uh, in an AL stadium we were going to do the uh, <laughs> the NL rules. So. Yeah. Here's former Texas Ranger Ian Kinsler with a quick ground out to the third, third baseman there. Let's see how it works out for him. But, Bob, because the uh, because the Texas Rangers did bat around in the first, we will finally see uh, in the bottom of the – or the top of the next inning who that uh, leadoff yeah. runner was. That correct leadoff hitter. And Miguel Cabrera doing what he does best. Oh, that looked like a fair ball to me there, It Corey. certainly did, Bob, but it was called foul. Wow. Curious because that, sh that shadow was definitely fair. Maybe an odd angle from the sun here in Detroit. Maybe. And in, uh, surprisingly, there was no, uh, no instant replay challenge there, but – a, uh, a long pop fly into uh, short left field yes. there. And, Bob, is it in end, bad end. taste to say that here in Detroit uh, it was a black hole sun in this time of morning? Ooh, yeah, we're going to – yep, that's going to be in bad taste, and we're going to need to at least say some kind words before we uh, start busting out the jokes. Yes, we well, we all will miss him, and it was very, very, very unfortunate, and it did happen here in the city of Detroit. Uh, by the way, Bob, I was making that uh, bad taste joke right over the leadoff – a batter, so I missed who it was this time again. I, and I caught it. I caught. I caught both the joke and the uh, leadoff hitter in that uh, that uh, exchange there. So it was Carlos Gomez leading off for the Texas Rangers. Uh -huh. Mike Napoli with the base hit all the way to the center field wall. That's going to score another run, and Mike Napoli's going to get in there with a double. And uh, we'll say rest in peace, Chris Cornell. That's a, a shame. Just like that uh, throwing error there by the center field. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. Napoli's going all the way, Bob. Nobody there to so help him out. So Mr. Hustle, Mike Napoli, scores from second on the throwing air in from center field. So. And then it was, curiously, Bob Verlander had to run all the way from the pitcher's mound to the backstop, getting no help from his catcher who just stood there covering the plate. Absolutely. Austin Romine uh, wants nothing to do with that. So there's a base hit, though, into right field. And, man, these uh, Texas Rangers came to hit here this Sunday night. Yes, yeah, 7 nothing here in the top of the second. Uh, and a lot of this damage, Bob, being done with two outs. Well, and you can't say a lot of the damage done, I mean, because there's only been two innings so far. So, <laughs> But, I mean, a lot of the uh, runs scored. Few, I think, yeah, a lot of the runs. I think but, all uh, five runs of the size. last inning were scored with two outs, and here is a three-run home run coming in. They are going to call this one fair, Bob. This one will be called a fair ball. <laughs> that one's going to land in fair, and uh, any jokes you want to make about Chris Cornell are now welcome. So that's good. <laughs> well, that was all I had, Bob. That was all I had. Oh, that was all you had. Okay, well, he had, I mean... 
There was Spoon Man and Like a Stone and I know ton, Jesus Christ tons of other songs. I'm yeah, sure there's exactly. there's something there, but I, I would that would be blasphemous as well as in bad taste probably. So uh, for anyone it's who the internet. who would be bothered it, by that, we'll leave that part alone. That's true. We will say Chris Cornell will be sadly missed. Friend of the show. Yes, a longtime friend of the show, Chris Cornell. Here's long a little time. blooper. That one's not going to get down. Uh, we'll be caught for the out, but 11 nothing here. Five minutes into this ball game, Bob. Five minutes in and 11 uh, Baseball being a boring sport is really being challenged right now, Corey. Yes, and here is Upton. Uh, which Upton brother is this, Bob? This would be Justin Upton. And is he uh, the Upton who dip. hit the umpire with the bat in the minor leagues about six or seven years ago? Um, uh, Yeah, that might have been Justin Upton. Absolutely. Uh, BJ has been in the league for, for quite some time, so that would have been a while ago. Yeah. Well, Bob, I but, hope you weren't settling in too much. I hope you didn't just get that next order of nachos because this one is O-V-E-R. The visiting Texas Rangers take it 11 nothing to an already grieving city of Detroit. Yes, so you can definitely say that the uh, the Chris Cornell uh, news has hit them very hard. So tough to play baseball under these conditions. Yes, uh, so 12, uh, let's see, 11 runs on 12 hits, no errors for Texas. Detroit, uh, no hits, one error, no runs. Is it a no, you call it a no hitter? I mean, um, honestly. <laughs> You know what, Bob? Right? On a game that's called like this, I am not sure if, if Cole Hamels is going to be dealing with a no-hitter here, a two-inning no-hitter. <laughs> Technic- I'm going to say on technicality, he got the no-hitter tonight. So All right, congratulations, well, Cole Hamels, on the no-hitter, <laughs> albeit are, a two-inning one. We are going to give Cole Hamels the two-inning no-hitter. We will get in touch with uh, Sticky Bleacher's uh, official stats and info department to confirm that here. We also need to talk to our Sticky Bleacher's assistant staff for not getting us a lineup card to get us that leadoff batter on the first inning. <laughs> to be fair, Carlos Gonz- uh, Carlos Gomez could definitely be in the minors. So okay. that, well, and he's also let's give him a little bit of a slack. He's just so fast that we just you can't even see him. He's a blur. That's true. They did come out attacking against Verlander today, so that uh, could definitely be said. Yeah, Justin Verlander's going to have to have a long, long, long ride home tonight to the what is? I'm guessing he lives a very long way from the center of Detroit, Rock City. I'm guessing he probably lives in Toronto. But he gets to go home to Kate Upton, so, you know, things aren't all that bad. That's right. No relation to Justin or BJ Upton, I'm being told, Bob. No, but they did share a Sports Illustrated cover a while ago. Well, so. that's right. That's true. That's true. Kate has yep. uh, adorned many a Sports Illustrated cover. True. True. Uh, true. Anywho, Bob, I think that's going to wrap things up. It's a quick one from us this week here in Sticky Bleachers from the beautiful city of Detroit where the trees grow on top of the buildings only in non-All-Star game years. I will be Corey signing off. I'll choose Bobby. See you guys.